Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 34 of 2020, appointing Hamad Yaqub Al Mahmid as General Coordinator for Studies and Research and Sara Ahmed Bouhaji as General Coordinator for Media and Communication at the office of the first Deputy Prime Minister. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 10 of 2020, appointing Ahmed Khalid Ali Al Arifi as Media Director and Manar Ahmed Abdullah Thani as Communication Director at the office of the First Deputy Prime Minister. Following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to alleviate the financial burden on citizens, the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Engineer Isam Khalaf, issued ministerial decision to exempt 156 Bahraini families from municipal fees who do not own their own residence but live in a rented place through the period of April to May of this year. The minister highlighted that these decisions come in line with the aspiration of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide a high living standards for all citizens and affirmed the ministry's keenness to achieve that. He added that th there is a continuous coordination between the municipalities' affairs and the Consumer Affairs Services Department at the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority in order to implement the ministerial decision. A press conference was held earlier to discuss the latest developments of COVID-19. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid Al-Mana, praised the Kingdom's approach in dealing with the crisis and hailed the work of the government and the medical cadre in combating the virus. He stressed that the upcoming phase requires personal responsibilities and committing to precautionary measures in order to in that individuals protect themselves, their families and their communities. He pointed out that the rise in number of cases in recent days is the result of people not committing to precautionary measures. He stressed the importance of wearing face masks and committing to social distancing. Almana affirmed that the capacity has been raised at isolation centers. Infectious diseases consultant and microbiologist at the BDF hospital, Lieutenant Colonel Dr. Manaf al Gahtani, said that there are a number of precautionary measures for safe entry into the homes that must be adhered to. And before touching anything, it is important to put the shoes outside the house with the need for sterilization and the availability of a box at the entrance where all personal belongings are placed. He added that wear gloves and sleeves, sterilize all belongings, dispose the outer bags with the gloves and sleeves, wash your hands with soap and water for a period of not less than 40 seconds. The consultant of infectious and internal diseases at Salmaniya Medical Complex, Dr. Jamila Salman, affirmed the importance of committing to precautionary and preventive measures in order to ensure the safety of all. She added that out of all cases, only 48 cases need medical treatment, and 4,875 cases are stable, and 7,407 cases have fully recovered and have been discharged. She stressed the importance of following instruction and avoid family gatherings in order to ensure the safety of all. Chief Prosecutor Adnan al wadai stated that the lower criminal court issued rulings against six defendants who did not commit to the imposed home isolation to prevent the spread of the coronavirus and that the court fined each violator 1,000 Bahraini dinars. Public prosecution was notified by the public health department that a total of six people violated the order of home isolation imposed on them after their contact with infected coronavirus cases and through follow-up it was revealed that they left their homes on different dates. On the other hand, the public prosecution began investigating reports received from the public health department against 27 defendants for their lack of commitment to home isolation as they left their homes at different times during their isolation period. The Ministry of Health said that the number of coronavirus cases today reached 5,385 with 13 recoveries and 241 registered new cases and one death. The deceased, a 37-year-old male expatriate who was a registered active case of the coronavirus was suffering from chronic and underlying health problems. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules and follow instructions, such as washing hands with soap on a regular basis, along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact, in addition to covering the nose and mouth when sneezing and avoiding public places when possible.